Hello dear friends, this is Yule Humphreys. I'm glad to be here to say, say a word and uh, just a 10 minute message. I hope and pray it will bless your life and make you know that God loves you and the Lord's with us and we are going to get through. I'm speaking to you on the fact that we need to realize that trouble brings us riches out of rubble. Trouble brings riches out of rubble. The Bible teaches this truth. It's a difficult truth to learn, but it's a truth we need to know, and the Lord will help us find it. The Bible says over in 2 Timothy, the first chapter, Paul is writing, and we need to heed the words of Paul because he was moved by the Holy Spirit when he wrote the Word of God. Paul said, Take heed into the things that I have taught you, and hold to them through Jesus Christ. So we need to take heed to the Bible and the things that these dear men have written because God was writing through them. Holy men of God were moved by the Holy Spirit, the Bible says, in writing the Word of God. And so it's actually the Word of the Lord. And so we recognize it. That this good thing which was committed unto you, you are to keep by the power of the Holy Spirit that dwells in us. And so he was saying to Timothy, there's some things that's been committed to you and you're to keep them. There's things that's been committed to you and me, dear friends, and we need to commit and to, uh, to, to, to not only to share them, but to love them and, and to keep that which we have heard and learned. Now, what are some of the things that have been committed to us? Several things, but we can think of one thing in the scripture I find in Second Corinthians in the 13th chapter, verse 14. 2 Corinthians 13, 14, and it says this, And now may the grace of Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. So here's three things that have been committed to us that we need to hold dear to our lives. Number one, the grace of Christ. We are saved and born again by the grace of Christ. We're saved from a devil's hell and we're saved and our names are written in heaven by the grace of Christ. We mean by that that he came into this world and became a, a human like you and me so that he could go to the cross and pay for our sins and he was still divine, the Holy Son of God. And he was perfect without sin and yet he became sin for you and me and paid the price for our sins so we could be delivered forever. And so we're redeemed we're redeemed and we rejoice in it because we are saved by the grace of God. We're born again and belong to God when we believe in Jesus as our Lord and Savior. When we've asked Him to forgive us and to come into our hearts. And so you need to do that if you're not sure that you're going to heaven. You need to pray and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe Jesus died for my sins. I believe He paid for all of them on the cross. I believe that he rose again. I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus, and help me live for you. Pray a prayer like that, and you'll live forever. Find you a good church. Be baptized if you need to be, and let the Lord lead you in your life. And so we see the importance of this work of the grace of Christ. Live in the grace of Christ. Commit has been committed to you, dear Christian. Oh, my dear beloved, it's been committed to you to live for him. The grace of Christ is sufficient for you. Whatever you have to face, the grace of Christ is there, bigger than anything that you have to face. The grace of Christ is yours. That grace that took him to the cross will take you all the way. And you'll come through the cross and you'll be able to bear and go on and live for God. And so we see the importance of that. The grace of Christ, the love of God. You have been committed, the love of God has been committed to you. The love of God. You're to love God. And loving God, you're to love others. The greatest thing you can do is love God. So over and over, say it, Lord God, I love you. Forgive me. I love you. I love you. Say it until you mean it more than anything in this world. I love God. I love God because He loves me and has saved me. And he first loved me. And then if you love God, you love others. You love others. Begin with your family. Love them. 
begin them with your friends. You love them. And even if your enemies, if you have any, love your neighbor as yourself. And this is the love of God that's given to you. And then we have the communion of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit lives in you. Oh, hallelujah. He lives in you. And Jesus said he will come and he will, uh, he will be with you and he will be in you. John 16, 13. He will be, and 14, 27. He will be with you and in you. And he'll never leave you. And so the Holy Spirit will guide you. He will show you the way to go. He will bring conviction when you do the wrong thing. He will bring approval when you do the right thing. And you will find there is joy and peace in the Holy Spirit that loves you. He is the Lord that's living in you. You're never alone. He's always there with you. Day or night, come rain or shine, He's there to bless. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. Praise God. The grace of Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. Committed to you. And that's important. Then we read over in the book of Psalms, in the 66th chapter of Psalm, the fact that the Lord brings, uh, He uses trouble to bring riches out of rubble. Trouble brings riches out of rubble. The Bible says over in Psalm 66, For thou, Lord, you have proved me as silver is tried in the fire. In the days of old they put silver in a pot and burn it set it on the fire and it burned and they stirred it and it burned and all that heat and fire would destroy all the impurities in that silver till finally there was nothing left but pure silver. Real silver will not burn. And so the real silver was left. And it was said that in the way to know that it's completely purified is that the person that's, that's trying and stirring that silver can look into that pot and see his own image in it. And so the Lord puts us through the fire sometimes in order to burn away the impurities so that we'll become more and more and look more and more like Jesus. Oh, praise the Lord. He wants to see Jesus in you. He wants to see Jesus in you and me. And so this is why we have to go through the fire sometimes. And then he said he has, he has laid afflictions upon me. Oh, we have some afflictions in this life. Sometimes we've been sick and God is healed, but there were afflictions in it, but we were healed. Hallelujah. Sometimes we went through great sorrow in our families. I, I, I was broken, oh, with the death of my son, but praise God, the Lord's brought me through it. And I'm looking up and I'm going on and I believe that I'm going to see him in heaven one day. Hallelujah. We have afflictions in this life. He said, I've even caused men to ride over you. Have you ever been mistreated by others? Then if you have, turn that cheek. Let it happen. Say, praise God, give me grace to go on and live for God and not hold grudges, but pray for that person. This will make you more like Jesus. And he prayed for you when you mistreated him. So look up. Know that all is well, for God is with you. He brought me through the fire and through the all oh, deep waters so that he finally brought me into a wealthy place. Hallelujah. He's brought me into a wealthy place. My dear friends, I am living today in a wealthy place. That is, I don't have a mansion. I'm living in an apartment, in a, in a retirement home. But I am living in a wealthy place. That is, spiritually, I'm rich. I'm, uh, I belong to God. I have all that I need. And I'm on the way to heaven. I'm on the way to heaven where they pave streets with gold. I'm on the way to heaven where the joy and peace shall be ours forever and ever, and we shall never lose it. We belong to God. We're on our way home. Hallelujah. Some through the water, some through the flood, some through great sorrow, but all through the blood. Some through great trials, but God gives a song in the night seasons and all the day long. Amen. Hallelujah. Some through the fire and some through the flood, but praise God all through the blood. We're safe and we're redeemed by the blood. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. May the Lord bless you, dear friends. We're on our way home. 
we're on our way through and, and, and we're on to our way to that wealthy place oh praise God and even down here God's going to bring you through your trial and he's going to reward you and bless you with good things I believe good things are ahead for you keep looking up keep believing keep trusting God and all is well for the Lord loves you Oh, praise God, the Lord loves you. Oh, we're on our way home. We're marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching upward to Zion. The beautiful city of God. Come we that love to sing and let our joys abound. We're traveling through a holy land. We're going through Emmanuel's ground to fairer worlds on high, to fairer worlds on high. We're marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion, marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. <laughs> Amen. May the Lord bless you and help you to know that all is well. He's bringing you to the fire and He's bringing you to the wealthy place. Amen. He's bringing and allowing trouble to bring you riches out of rubble. In Jesus' name. Amen. Find you a good church and worship God with his people. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen.